Vogue named her one of five Jamaicans who have changed the face of fashion forever. But where is rags to fame supermodel Nadine Willis at 40? Nadine will be here to tell us. One of the original members of Vibes Cartel's Gaza camp. Where is he now, seven years after leaving the camp? He'll be here to tell us. And what's up with him and Tommy Lee? You may remember him by this track. But where has he been since? Dizzy comes to tell. And I bet you didn't know that Jamaican gold medal winning athlete Maurice Smith is now a recorded dancehall artist. Maurice will be here to exhibit his very first single. All coming up right here on our stage. Welcome to the show, everyone. I am Winfred Williams. We'll be right back. Reaching more and more screens around the world every week. On stage, so much more than entertainment. I bet you didn't know that Jamaican gold medal winning athlete Marie Smith is now a recording dancehall artist. Stage name Decker. Maurice now resides in Washington, D.C. and is our very special guest right now, right here on our stage with his very, very first recording, believe it or not. Maurice, sir, good to have you. Good to have you. Bless you. Good to be here. All right, first of all, sum up for us your achievements in sports before we jump into your music switch. Okay, so in a nutshell, um, went to Calabar, you know, was really successful there. I was the most outstanding performer my last two years okay. at Calabar. And, you know, from there, Herb McKinley made a connection to a junior college in Arizona, got me a scholarship, I did really well there. Um, from there, I went to Auburn University and from Auburn to the Olympics. So mm -hmm. I'm now a three-time Olympian and world silver medalist in the decathlon and also won a lot of other gold medals and silver medals on different platforms, different stages, um, like Commonwealth Games, mm -hmm. Pan American Games and all those, you know, smaller games as well. And so how long have you been living overseas? Is home Jamaica still or? Well, I'm a, I'm a permanent resident. In the U.S.? In the U.S. In Washington? Yeah. So you, are, are you seeing yourself as, what do you say when you come here? Home? I'm home? I'm coming home? Yes, of course. Then you had me come from. Okay. <laughs> and you're, you're from, remind us of your community in Jamaica. Well, I'm from up the rural St. Catherine, above right. rocks. Above rocks. Country boy, real yeah. country boy. All right. And you, I soon got your song because it's interesting. <laughs> One would think you're talking about Moby a lot in this record. Yeah. It's a very interesting record, and it's an important record because of what you're saying in it. Yeah. And, uh, you know, very often we've seen people wanting to make the transition from sports to music, and people just sort of snub them or, ah, you know. And, but you, in your case, people are paying attention, aren't yes, they? Yes, of course. Because you're serious. <laughs> you're a serious artist. This is not something I'm just trying. Okay. No, don't say anymore. Let us know. <laughs> Let us get the elephant out of the room so that they know that you have talent. And then we'll move from there. Let's go right here. Jam rock atta, rapido gun fire. We make the man them just a kill, kill them one another. Hold out with your brother, you like to live together. Don't take a nether life, just forget a liquid cheddar. Throw your mark for death, and you start to sweat. Babylon a search for you, you are either fret. Just a kill and collect, smoke and forget. Marijuana them a dip in a ember fluid. Okay, <laughs> what would you say about that? Deca, right? Deca, remember the name. No, sir. This is the first time this record is, is being dropped. So where have you been with all this? What, where was all this talent all along? I mean, it's been in me all my life, really. Because, I mean, I love music from I was younger. Yes. But I also was gifted with the ability to do sports. Yes. So that kind of took priority because it you know, had me traveling the world from a young age. So mm -hmm. I just had to focus on 
sports at the time. So now I'm not competing anymore. I'm still, I mean, I am still competing, still on the track. Yes. On the tracks, the music tracks. Okay. You know, so um, I have a lot to say about music. So, so, yeah, so where was this record done? Where was it recorded? In the, in, in the US, in DC? Yeah. And who are the people producing you and so on? Who are the people around well, you? Well, I am working with a producer, um, Gracious Keys, mm -hmm. also located in the Washington DC area. Mm -hmm. um, I also have um, Dancehall Queen Carly in, in my corner as well, you know, as a professional in the business for a long time and, you know, know Dancehall music. And also my best friend, um, Brandon Simpson, which was, you know, he was also an athlete as well. Yes. So, you know, I have really good influence around me. Mm -hmm. You know, in, in track and field, you want to have a good entourage. So everyone, uh, your entourage, everyone that's a part of your entourage really supports what you do in music. So mm -hmm. there is always a positive influence. So I have some really, really good influence around me as far as the content that I'm putting out and all of that stuff. So. Okay, so go, go back now and tell us about the music background now, because it, <laughs> yeah, well, I, I, I'm I mean, interested in I knowing. mean, you know, I'm from, like I said, I'm up from rural St. Catherine, you know, mm -hmm. in the country, you know, they always have little parties and, mm -hmm. you know, sound, sound clashes and, you know, I would also perform at, you know, some of these little parties and, you know, people, people used to love my music, yes. you know, they used to love little freestyle we used to do and, you know, that, but like I said, track and feel, you know, kind of just took priority and mm -hmm. now that I have the time, I'm mm -hmm. not on the track competing, but still competing on the tracks as far as music. So the same energy I put into being one of the world's greatest athletes, I'm putting it into the music so right It, now it sounds like that to me. Yes, because that's my you know, personal, my own personal view on it. Yeah. How how difficult was it to be to feel all this music in you, wanting to jump out, <laughs> you know, and you're holding it back, so to speak. I mean, I think everything have its time. Yes. Time and place. For so everything. it wasn't difficult for you to just say, okay, well, hold it, hold it right there, music. No. no, it wasn't. It wasn't at the time. And, and I think, like I said, everything happened for a reason because at a younger age, I didn't have a lot to say. You know, you know, traveling. I think what I did in sports prepared me for this. Okay. Because I traveled the world. You know, I, I've experienced different cultures and and you know, been to different a lot of different places. I went to university. I graduated from Auburn with a bachelor's degree in education. So. You know, I know more meaning of words and metaphors and stuff like that. So it's easier for me now to formulate. And, okay, and you want to say something. Yes. You want to be saying something, a message. Yes. In your music, right? Definitely. The vision behind this song is like, yes. you know, I was in D.C. as well, and um, I saw a lot of YouTube videos going out of mm -hmm. the crime and violence happening in Jamaica. And sometimes I have friends that say they would love to go to Jamaica, but, you know, they, they hear that a lot of crime and stuff like that is happening in Jamaica. So, you know, they tend to be a little bit more afraid of Jamaica versus, you yes. know, they love the country and they see a lot of great things happening in sports. Mm -hmm. And, you know, even sometimes we're at the Olympic Games and we hear that the crime rate is not as much mm -hmm. because everyone is so in tune with sports. But outside of that, the country has a lot to offer. Yes. A lot to offer. It's a beautiful country. I haven't even seen a whole lot of things in Jamaica, you know, so I think if we could put a lot more positive messages out there, and my, my song also start a, a, a started a peace challenge. I started a peace challenge with the song as well. Mm. It's called the Jamrock Atta Challenge. Okay. Yes, and you know it seems like people are catching on to it, and it's you know all over social media right now. So what so are they to do? What's the action? Basically, you play the song in the background and send a peace message. You know, stop the crime and violence because that's what the song speak of. Yes. Jamrock Atta. So, you know, in the second verse, I say, Oh, you fi kill your brother from another mother. Yes. Them thing they no right, no, no, papa. Cry my fist up, because we have a lot of poverty in the land, so it atta, atta. So, you know what I'm saying? So, if I'm trying to get more of my teammates as well, you know, mm -hmm. and people that have a big name in Jamaica to really, you know, be a part of the challenge and send a positive message. Because I would love for some of, some of my friends overseas as well to feel more confident in coming to Jamaica and not have to worry so much about, you know, being a victim of crime to, and violence. Do you have to try to put things into context for friends overseas when, when they ask you about Jamaica? And yes, of course. And we, I mean, I, yeah. always, I always try to paint the best picture for my yeah. country. Is that difficult for you? 
I mean, no, it's not. It's not really difficult, but at the same time, if you care about your friends and they're going to, they're coming to Jamaica, they're coming to visit, you might, you want to give them good guidance. Mm -hmm. You know, tell them, make them more aware of what to expect if you're going to Kingston versus, you know, to the more tourist attraction areas, you know? So it's, it's not difficult to really paint a good picture for the country because there's a lot of good in the country. Yes. You know, it's just that the violence also... Aren't you, Suppressed like, sometimes it. having to apologize for our behavior because you feel compelled yes, when, of course. when you hear bad news. Because and you, 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 you want yeah. people to want to come to your country. Yes. What, what are you aiming to achieve in music? I mean, you, you want to teach. You, you, you have something to say, and I like what you're saying in this. And I hope we'll hear much, much more from you uh, like that to Jama the Jamaican youth, right? That, that's who you're targeting yeah. with your message. Yeah. Um, but... Apart from that, what do you want to see for yourself in music? I mean, I've traveled the world before mm -hmm. because of sports. Yes. So, you know, my best friend told me, you know, <laughs> get ready to travel the world again for your music because, you know, he's a big fan of what I'm doing and also a big influence as well. So um, I really want to continue spreading positive messages in music, mm -hmm. you know, and because I'm seen as a leader in sports as well. Capo, everybody call me Capo. Yeah. People more recognize me for my leadership ability more than the medal that I want. Oh, really? <laughs> you know, yeah, You're everywhere I go. You're a natural leader. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, I want to continue that. Vibes Carter Levy is a big influence on how I write my lyrics. Okay. Because sometimes I hear that man spit some lyrics and I'm like, yo, who oh, use that for, mm. for make a lyric, make a song? Is, it, is he the only one? No, not, I mean, I listened to a lot of Bob Marley songs as well from when I was even younger, but I didn't understand a lot of things Bob Marley used to say. But now that you know, <laughs> I have more intellect and stuff like that, I can understand his metaphors that he used in music. Deca, we're going to leave the rest until you can perform live for us. Yes. And when you build the catalog, come Definitely. back right here to our stage to perform for us. It's great meeting you, sir. And it's good to have you and, and your record Personally, I like the record. I like what, it's, what it is saying. And I hope the youth, those kids out there are listening. Not just Jamaican kids, but kids everywhere. Huh? Yes, definitely. Um, I hope they're listening, and I, I'm sure you'll get their, their ears. Yes, yeah, so if you, they want to follow me on social media, it's at Deca Jams, D-E-C-A-J-A-M-S, at Deca Jams. Okay. All right, so there you have him right here on stage, Deca. <laughs> wow. But I spit some, some <laughs> lyrics <laughs> you couldn't believe. Anyway, coming up right here on our stage, rags to fame supermodel Nadine Willis, Sean Dizzy, and later, Ja Vinci. Wow, where are they now? Anything you want in a life, you say we must love fight because we love for your team. We know we make it down, yeah. Reaching more and more screens around the world every week. On stage, so much more than entertainment. Vogue named her one of five Jamaicans who have changed the face of fashion forever. CNN called her campaign with Gucci one of the top 15 of all time. In 1999, Nadine, a former exotic dancer from a family of 32 siblings, left Jamaica for London in search of a modeling career. This after she was discovered and groomed by Kingsley Cooper of Pulse Modeling Agency. And a career she did find, for it wasn't long before Willis was winning coveted international campaigns, making covers of fashion's most prestigious magazines, and burning some of the biggest fashion runways on the planet. But where is Rats to Fame supermodel Nadine Willis at 40? Well, she's definitely on our stage right now. <laughs> Nadine. <laughs> I went right oh, <laughs> happy 40. <laughs> Thank you. I feel good. All glamorous and happy at 40. Well, you know, God is good in keep me nice and young and fresh. Okay, so we talk, talk to us about um, uh, your... Um, your journey, the, 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 the high points of, of your, your journey as a model and some of the challenges and some of the, the scare you got when you were taken to London 
to, to search for a career in, in modeling? Well, um, when I started as the model, I just landed in London. We, we, it was like about 10 of us went to London, male and female, mm -hmm. with Mr. Cooper. Mm -hmm. It took us like a day or two to find an agency, cause, and we've been to like 20 agents, and nobody knew what to do with me until the final last one that we went to one day um, when we went to select. And then the Chinese guy came down, there's a Chinese guy there, and come down and said, oh, we're not interested in you, but we're interested in all of them. So I started leaving. When I saw Sarah Leon wrote in the booker that signed me, come down and said, no, 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 he got this wrong. We're interested in you, but we're just not interested in the rest of them. <laughs> I'm like, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> You had it the opposite way. <laughs> yes. Oh, wow. And I was about to leave. Yes. And she ran, came down, and you know, and we there, and she was, they were, they started asking the age thing, you know, where, you know, mm -hmm. 25, where, you know, why, she's 25 years old. Oh, my God, it's a little bit older. So, guess what we're going to do? Start telling people that you're 18 and are 19. <laughs> <laughs> so, the, they had you as 19. Yes. But you were actually 25. Yes. I started, I was one of the oldest model ever started and to become a supermodel and competing with 16 and 17 years old and walking on the same stage with them. And you kept that a secret all this time? Yes. And some of these big campaigns that you were landing and these fashion um, covers, yes. these, the magazine covers and, and so on, how did you feel, I mean, like a little girl from, <laughs> from Waterhouse, Jamaica? It was scary. It was fun. Yes. It was when you put it on, put on clothes, and I'm like, oh, my God, look at me. And you look at the pictures, I'm like, oh, wow, is that yes. me, you know? And it's, 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 like something I, it's like something that I was preparing myself for all these years because I always... Even though, I'm, even my, my background as a dancer, mm -hmm. when I go out, I like to wear appropriate clothing, you know? I didn't like to wear, like some of the dancers was wearing like clothes up on them backside there, mm -hmm. and you see them in the morning, you could have tell who them is and stuff. I would have rather to wear a long dress and even dress as appropriate. A dancer. Yeah, and dress appropriate. Because I remember one time I went to represent the dancing community at RJR. And the guy was like, if you see this girl, she look like one of them women uptown, sophisticated lady uptown. She don't look like a dancer. An exotic dancer. An exotic dancer. And I was always mindful to do something better with my life and wanted to go somewhere, you know? So I tried to keep my circles so, uh, and everything. Underneath close. it all, you were always conscious of being better. Yes. You wanted to go to a better place. Yes. You want I to wanted, get out of that business. I always wanted to be better. So yes. you tried to pres preserve yourself. Yes. So when did, you, when did you become confident about, I belong? Did you feel that you belong when you were doing these big campaigns and these runways, these... I always try to tell myself that I, I, am, I have a purpose that I serve on this earth and I always try to go for, go for it and go for better. So after a while you became yes, confident? Yes, and Because when I arrived in New York, when I signed to New York Models, maybe that's why a part of it they didn't really like me that much because I walked in and I was like, Nadine has arrived. Yes. And I'm here. <laughs> yeah, you're, yeah. You're, you're like, you were like yes. confident now. Yes, and I'm like, I'm arrived, I'm here. Attitude. And Where is the job? Where is the work? I'm here, I'm here right now, I'm here. Yes, the Jamaican yes. girl from statement. Waldo's. Yeah, I made they, a statement. They knew where you're from? They knew that you were a dancer? Uh, 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 um, after they, yeah, they figured out some of it. Yes, they did. Yes? Yes. And how did that impact the relationship? My problem is um, always with, with my agency, New York Models, is, is women, with woman modeling agency, the guy that booked me mm. was my booker. He was more, and I was sitting and talking to Mr. Cooper for the very first time the other day, what really happened in New York. Yes. They did a lot of bad stuff underneath the ground to me. And I really sat down and had a reason with Mr. Cooper and telling him some of the things that was going on. Imagine I was booked for an exclusive campaign in New York mm -hmm. and my booker sent me out 
to shoot for to do a test shoot because we do it all the time. And when I'm done, in the middle of Fashion Week, just before, a couple weeks before Gucci release, you see this big billboards of this test shoot that I was supposed to do. It's supposed to be a test shoot, not a campaign. Mm -hmm. This thing is a big campaign all over New York. So I called the designer, I said, I give you till the end of the day to remove that so any, or any charge Gucci has given unto me, it's going unto you plus more. Mm -hmm. So they did not like me because I'm always trying to handle. You're in their face. Yes. You are a no-nonsense yeah, But that model. don't make no sense that Gucci paid me for an exclusive campaign. That means I cannot work with nobody until Gucci is mm -hmm. over. The best thing ever happened to me was London. Oh, London. That you did it well in London. They were the best. What was it, Nadine? What was this, this thing about you that made you, that's, that made you stand out? The grace of God. Uh, yeah. Is, is, the is grace that? of God. From when I was a child, I used to pray to God and I look on the, the awards, them like all the Grammy and the, 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 the Oscars and all this stuff. I and mean, I always tell myself, I'm going to be on that one day. And mm. I'm going to be there. I'm going to be a star. I always tell myself I'm going to be a star. Even when you were Even hungry. when people was laugh at me. When you were dancing. Hungry, no clothes, no panty. There's time when I never had panty when I was a child. Went yes. for it. I'm going to tell myself I'm a star. I'm going to be a star. I couldn't read. I can't read and write. Mm -hmm. Even though my reading is difficult, but I do better. It's so when me pass my, my reading test, my, my, my citizen test in the, in the United States. My husband like, I'm like, yeah, man, me that prepare. <laughs> <laughs> so you, <laughs> so you, um, you live in the US now, are you? Well, I'm back home. You're back home I'm now? I'm back home for oh, a good. while because Jamaica is always my heart. Mm -hmm. And that's one of my problems, you know. The, the agency, them always, if me, take, if me get two day break, I'm going to Jamaica. Mm -hmm. And they think, uh, a lot of people think, okay, you're out of this society, you're out of, it will take you out of certain things, so why are you keep on going back to it? Because it's home, mm -hmm. and it's my people, them, even the ghetto. A lot of times the ghetto people, them is grimy, yes, but I like to hang with them because sometimes you get to learn, you get learn from them too, you know. Mm -hmm. You learn what you don't want to be back into. You learn, that what you, you learn things that you can help you to better yourself. Because they're not all bad. They're still good down there. Talk to young girls in Waterhouse, in, in these communities. My thing, I went for it with the young girls when I touched that topic. The other day I was on the bus mm -hmm. and I saw something and me never want to lick nobody pick me up in my life. But I feel like to box down the little girl. Yes. I look on her and say, little girl, you're not an ambition. You have on your uniform, she's up on the bus. Went further, I go downtown. I'm up on the coast, I go downtown with her. And I look behind me. Is she sitting in her boy lap and she in her uniform and the boy have him on, pull out her clothes and have one of feel up her private and the other one have feel up the breast? And the bus? And the bus. And she have her hand down in her feet pants now. And the doctor just come collect money and she take one hand and put her hand in the man pocket and pay for the, pay for the fear. I'm saying, yeah, oh, from yourself. You know, not have respect for yourself. This is what is going on on the coaster. They're having sex. They're getting pregnant on the coaster down there, Wentford. A lot of these things is going on in Jamaica right now. And I went on Facebook and I was so mad because I didn't know what to, you know, it, it, mm -hmm. it really get me. Cause you know, me have three daughters. Yes. That is not something I want to see my daughter them become. And me bring my daughter them now and say I want them to go to school at Jamaica. Because all we are going to Jamaica school are the best. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of that is in Jamaica that is still the best, Winford. So they, how are they doing in Jamaica? They're the loving it. They, my daughter, my, my 10 year old, she just took sit the grade four exam. And she, the pre-testing, she did well on them. The, 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 the 
teacher said for her to come right in testing time and do that. She's doing well. She did well on the pre-testing, but now we're waiting for the actual government test to come out and see how she do on that. Mm -hmm. But they, they love Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Me have the local Yankee one of me, have she, she not speak nothing but Jamaican. The other day my boyfriend said to me, said, Nadine, we need to do something about this. <laughs> she can't come from Florida and graze in America and come uh, pay a to a shop, not even one word of proper English. Oh, <laughs> but she's been doing that from the States. Okay. But you say your boyfriend. So what happened to the husband? Me and my husband separated. You know. So there's a boyfriend now? Yes, I do. Okay. I do have one. I don't want to prove. And about time, I come out and say it. You understand me? Mm. Because when you're married in a relationship, you're, you're, you're supposed to have respect. Mm -hmm. And there was too much disrespect and all that stuff in a relation, in a, that relationship and stuff that I'm not used to. Even as a dancer, and I deal with all kind of men from walk of life, and I never had such disrespectful relationship in my life. So I had to walk away from it. A lot of people are say, oh yeah, the American, him this and him that, are him file for you and him gear citizenship. But what that have to do with the price of rice if there's no respect on you? You understand me? Mm -hmm. I went, I got so depressed in the marriage that I fainted. They rushed me to the emergency room and the doctor decided to put me in a cycle to, to, to put me in basically in a mental institution just for 72 hours because he decided I'm not going home and I needed to get help and talk to a therapist and all that stuff about what was going on in the home. Mm. So coming home is like getting over that? Yes. Resetting your life? Yes, man. I'm trying to reset my life and, and revamp because me is a determined girl, you know, Winford. I determined for what I want in life and I determined not to fail. Yes. And I don't want no man or nobody in my life try to help me fail. Mm -hmm. If me go fail, make me alone fail and make Father God and me fail. So if Father God have a destiny for me, if he put me as Nadine Willis as a model, as inspiration, as a lot of young girls out there, why is it that me go fail them now? And tell them, say, oh yeah, you can become something, but you can just... Walk the streets and be, you know? No, I'm not going to do that, Winford. Me have, me have, God has given me a gift. Mm -hmm. Why not use it? If it's even for me, come home and start work with some of these young girls to bring up them confidence and yes. do something with themselves. That's what I want to do. And you're doing it. Yes. You are doing it. Uh, well, you know, Nadine, um, you're celebrating. You have a big event. Yes that you're selling to, to mark the 40. Yes. And we'll, it's fashion and it's music, right? Yes. There's somebody who's in Jamaica for the event, right? Su yes. A supermodel. Yes, man. Supermodel Trisha Campbell with Glamour Glamour Swimwear. Yes. And, she's, and you, she came in specifically to walk your runway, <laughs> so to speak. <laughs> Trisha. Well, now, supermodel, gotta have a supermodel on the runway, you know. Absolutely, and, and, and just mm -hmm. a little bit of, well, Trisha is in the house. She's yes. here, she yes. wasn't prepared. She's not prepared to come on the show, but we've asked her to put on something and yes. do something <laughs> last minute. So, <laughs> Trisha, could you step up for us? Trisha Campbell in the building. Uh, Hi, Winfred, how are, how are you? you? Nice to see you. Good to see you. Yes, yes. and of course, she is one of my inspirations. A lot of people don't know this, but when I was in college, I would look at all your photos, and it would bring me tears because to see a dark chocolate, gorgeous Jamaican woman in all those campaigns, it was amazing to see. Okay, and for those who are asking, who is Trisha, quickly get some of your... Your oh, so I am known as um, Oprah Winfrey's model. I'm kind of her Barbie. I do all her standing work for her magazine covers. And I just do, you know, I represent plus size women all over the world. Nice. On runways and print ads, all of that. 
And, and you're a big advocate for plus size women globally. And where is your movement now? What's happening with it? Well, now I just came back from South Africa. I just linked up with some um, plus size bloggers over there and we did some stuff together there. Mm -hmm. And um, in South Africa, it's so funny, but plus size women are very shy. Just like here in Jamaica, you would never think a plus size woman would want to wear a pink bathing suit. So that's what, you know, I'm trying to, I have my swimmer line and I'm trying to motivate women, uplift women and let them know that no matter what you've been through, see, she give you your story. It was so touching, definitely. And that's where, what we're all about. We're all about no matter where you come from, what you did, God give you your gift, do what you have to do. That's what we're all about. So. Shameless plug, check out GlamaGlamaSwimwear.com. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm wearing right now. <laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna give you a little hint. Coming by next year, Nadine is coming with her plus size line. Oh, you are. And I'm linking with one of Jamaica's top designer. I won't say anything more. Mm. Mm. Nice. Yes. So that's your approach. next move. Yes. Great. Branding, entrepreneurship, yeah, yeah. that's what we're yeah, all nice. about. And you have a friend with you in the house? Yes, I do. Sasha Fierce is here. Hey, She's Sasha. a beautiful, I won't say your size, but look at her. She's just gorgeous. <laughs> Take the stage, Sasha. Okay, Sasha. And Sasha is from where? She's from Kingston. Oh, she's a yes, Jamaican? she's a Jamaican yes. from Kingston, oh. yes. And, and you're, by the way, you're from Mobe, right? I'm from, from Montego Bay, mm -hmm. definitely. Country girl, I don't know what I said, but yes. Yes. country come to town. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my dear, so you'll be walking to yes, at, at this, at yes. this Nadine show. Yes, I will be. And, um, and Trisha treating you well? Yes, she is. Okay, yes. so, so you Jamaican girls are burning the world, right? Yes. Okay. Well, proud of no. Oh, thank you, <laughs> thank you. Winfrey. Thanks for having us. So good to see you guys. And yeah. um, don't forget, Mr. Lex and Lady G will be performing. Oh, yes, yes quite a party. Well, yes. And we'll be there to capture it all for those who can't make it to Nadine's 40th at Pulse, 38 Trafalgar Road in Kingston, Jamaica. Yes. All right, guys, thank you so much, yeah. Nadine. Look we'll forward to the line next thank year. Thank you. Okay, there you, there you have her, Nadine, as candid as usual. She don't hold back nothing when, she, when she's on her stage, you know. All right, still to come right here on stage, Sean Dizzy. And later, Javinci. Please don't give up on yourself. For faith in your dreams and you want to believe it. Uh. Reaching more and more screens around the world every week. On stage. So much more than entertainment. You may know him by this track. Hey, you know why not straight for your me. But where has he been since? Dizzy comes to tell, right now, right here, on our stage. Dizzy, sir. Bless it. Bless you. Cool one. All right, so jump in and tell us, where have you been since 2010, right? Since 2010, yes. Um, it's been quite a journey so far. It's been filled with highs and lows. Experienced many of the highs so far. and Been going through some of the latter for a, a few, a, quite a little bit of time now, you know? But what you got in 2010 is pretty mm. much what everyone is looking for. Yes, That yes, breakout yes. record. Yes. With some, some people get a little buzz, a little love, a little moderate thing, but uh -huh. yours was quite big. Yeah. Big enough to huge. make it you into huge. a star. Yes, it was. So would you consider yourself, um, would you say you failed to exploit properly, or who do you blame for what happened? Um, I wouldn't say it was a failure. Um, I would say that my movements were, weren't calculated enough. Well, I, would, I didn't put enough thought into everything, you know what I mean? Okay. I was just flying by the seat of my pants of in, the, in, the, in the earlier days, you know? I didn't understand the business well enough. So um, the break that I, that, that I took is, is also good because it helped me to learn about the business. It helped me to, to learn how to move and, and what to do and what not to do. Mm -hmm. Um, in the earlier stages, I just had the big songs. Yes. I'm an awesome man, I get the show with them, and I do this, and I do that. But the business aspect, right, I never understood it fully. You were just flowing, flowing yes, with the I wind, just so to through. speak, and, 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 and let yeah. it take you wherever. All right, so you're making a comeback, would you say? 
Yeah, return, man. Uh, is that return? return. And space is there for me, man. So we'll have to do it. space is there. People yeah, are asking course. for you? Of course, of course. Always. Okay, so what are you coming back with? Um, the same shot, Lizzy Flavor, man. Mm -hmm. Same shot, Lizzy Flavor. People know me for, for songs that they can relate to, you know? Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to bring that music back to them right now. All right, so we have a track queued up for you. A yeah. new video, a yeah. new track, a Careful. new video. Yeah. And the, the title is? Careful. 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 Yeah. <laughs> That's why you have to be careful of them. Can't put too much faith in a friend. If you left it up to them, you never progress. Just the young car up and pretend them are the purest. You have to be careful of them. There you have it. Careful is the title of that one from Shandizzi. Looking to make a comeback with it. Okay. How do you feel about it? Could it? Could it do the trick? What you say, sir? Um, your production? Um, it's produced by Sajay Productions, which is a new label that I'm working with right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, the rhythm was built by Wanamez, and it's doing well so far. It's doing well so far. Um, me it's getting, getting plenty some of rotation. Yeah, I know people will come here all the time and say, "Oh, it get crazy love in the streets," but it actually I get a lot of love in the streets, and I have a big up like ZJ Liquid and not for the, the 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 radio DJs that have been giving it a, a lot of strength. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think I should have asked you, what changed in your life? What brought you to want to now come back? What changed from what existed for um, up to when you did this? All right. All right. As I said, I've been going through some of the, the, the lows for, mm -hmm. for a, a few uh, years. And um, I think I wasn't as motivated as before. Mm -hmm. I, wasn't, I wasn't as motivated because of all that I was going through. You know what I said? And no. I feel rejuvenated, you know? I feel like it's time. I feel like it's time. I feel, and like I said, I feel like my space is out there. Every time I go out there, people are always like, yo, this is, where you dead, dog? Where you dead? We need box. Hello, bad man. We need box. Some of them. A new there. motivation, new yeah, energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and a whole new team. You see me? A whole new a team. A whole new team. Yeah. You know, it's important to ask that because you could help to motivate others. Of course, of course. Who are struggling, who have had the love and, and, and then them lose it. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. I mean? So from here you go. And is this a wider project, by the way? This, this um, record? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, this, this is one of the tracks of an of a EP that I'm working on. Mm -hmm. The EP we call Fireworks. Um, it consists of five tracks, all uh, produced by Sajay Productions. OK. Yeah. All right. The, give me a comment on Dancehall. How do you see it right now? How do you read Dancehall right How now? How do you read Dancehall? Dancehall is in a good space. Yes. It could be better. It could be better, there's always room for improvement. Like, locally, it's great mm -hmm. doing this. I mean, all of the artists have, most of the artists have hot songs and they're them doing well for themselves. But internationally, we don't see that. We don't see that a translate. We don't see the local love for the songs a translate over internationally. We don't see them getting huge and all of that. Like, back in the days, you know what I'm okay. saying? Like, well, so, don't you see others, international artists doing dancehall instead of? Yeah, yeah. Jamaican yeah. artists doing it internationally. Yeah, of course. Of Do you course. see that? Do you yes, read it that way? Of course, of course, of Rihanna, course. for example, she's doing ah, a lot she's of working on a Drake, the dance those, album those right guys. now. Yeah, of course, of course. They always, I don't want to say exploit, but they always use our culture mm -hmm. to advance their, their self. Okay. You know? It's like most of the times we've seen it over the years when an artist will take their career to the other level. Yes. Them always come to Jamaica. And dip in the catalog. Yes. But we are also dipping in other people's catalogs. So yes, nothing true. is wrong with that. No, no, music no, is, no, no. Music is, is, is like that. Music yeah. has no... Will, those who love it will also perform it. Of course, of course. But, 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 so, but don't you think that it's us, we, that we are not doing something right? Um, We're not able to see and, and focus and to, to really take advantage of what's out there? Do you think there's something against us? No, I don't think there's nothing against us. Well, part of, a part of the reason is, I think, why it may not be bigger is the language barrier. Yeah. Right? Like, for instance, you have artists like Sean Paul and Shaggy that they, they, they use mostly English, mostly standard English. Mm -hmm. Right? So when they go out there in the world, people understand everything like when most of our local artists, them, them are deliver, them deliver in raw part one, you know? It's a little harder for everybody to understand. Yeah, so, 
So, we, but some of the international artists yeah. push back on that, you know, is that yeah. international artists are using the slang, yeah, yeah, the street slangs, and are making songs that the world are the world is dancing to. Mm. So, are you saying then that in terms of an interview like this, mm -hmm. you know, communication as you and not necessarily your moniker, your artist, or mm. stage name, or sta stage persona, people need to be more to be communicating yes, in, in, in English? Of course, of course, of course. You need that. You need that. Mm -hmm. We care. I'm not saying we, we love our patois. We love our patois. It's a part yes. of our culture and everything. But we still, we want to go out there, we still have to try and make sure everyone can understand. All right, let me ask you about some, some new ladies, yeah, yeah, which yeah. I'm very inspired by yeah, and, yeah, and yeah. watching them. True. Um, Dovey Magnum in, in Atlanta. Yeah, big up Dovey. Big song? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was in Atlanta a few years ago and I saw her and she, before she found this song. Yes. Like a year and a half ago, before she found this song. And yeah, man, she was, she, she was rapping. Incredible artist. Yeah, man. Good and she's not based artist. here. Yeah. Hood celebrity. Yeah, yeah. Good what do you say about she? I hope to see more of her, but she's doing very well so far. International potential, both yes, she and... Yes, yes, yes. What do you know about Stefan Dunn? Stefan Dunn. I've been seeing her for, for quite some time. I know she's getting like a huge buzz and she has the mainstream going, the mainstream run going. Mm -hmm. I think she's very talented. She's very talented. Very talented girl. Um, her background? Um, Should we own her? <laughs> yeah, of course. I want to own her. I want to own her. I want to own her. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just asking. Yeah. Should we own her? Yeah, I want to own her. Okay, because I think she's unique. Yes, very. I think she she's, has her own lane. She has her own lane. She's well poised, you know. And yes. when we say unique, now we're yes. talking about global unique, mm -hmm. um, because she's credible in hip hop. Yes, the that's community is now hip -hop back girl. The, the entire hip hop community is now talking about her. Mm -hmm. Everybody's now saying, "Who? Yeah. Wow, who's this girl?" Yeah, because she's credible in hip hop and she's credible in dance. Oh, yeah, yeah. In yeah. one song, she's flowing both. Yeah, credibly. Yeah, we see that on most of her songs, so she switches it up. Oh, wow. It? Okay, your way forward. So what, what's next for you? Um, what's next? Working on, on some more singles um, and videos. Okay. That is very important. You know, visually people have gotten a lot from me over the years, so now we're trying to change all of that. We're doing videos for most of the songs, mm -hmm. if not all, Okay. right now. Yeah, so, yeah. All right, so it's a new Dizzy. True. <laughs> A more motivated, yeah. a reset for Dizzy Trust me that right. looks like it's going all the way this time, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll not slow down this time. Bless you, boss. Cool, man. Good to have you. Give thanks for having me. All right. There you have him right here on our stage. Sean Dizzy, stay with us. Still to come. Da Vinci, where has he been? He'll be here to tell us. Reaching more and more screens around the world every week. On stage, so much more than entertainment. He's one of the original members of Vibes Cartel's Gaza Camp. Where is he now since leaving the camp seven years ago? Where do angels go when they die? What was that moment at Summer Sizzle? Yo, what about that? With Tommy Lee, all about. Da Vinci is on our stage now to tell us. Yes, sir. How are you doing, sir? Yes, sir. Good to have you. Been a while, Da Vinci. Okay, first of all, let's talk about that moment at Summer Sizzle. You called up Tommy Lee on stage. Definitely. I don't think we've ever seen you guys together since them time, back well, in the day. It's actually the first time still in it, you see it. But you know, Tommy Lee is one of the youth that we never have a bad day with us. So you get what I say? So okay. from the work for the way I'm going to do it, you know? Straight. So you've been good with all the Everybody, former man. Gaza Everybody. members? Everybody. Yes. Everybody. So you're the good make peace guy in the, in the <laughs> camp? <laughs> Definitely. Definitely. So is this aiming for some kind of reunion or something? Would you like to well, see a reunion of, of the Gaza? Gaza? Well, I'm not going to say it's a reunion, but you don't know at the end of the day, as I say, none of us have any bad blood. You understand what I say? Yes. So, you know, I always keep it real with a popcorn because he always keep it real with me. You see what I say? So, you don't know. We just go and do the work straight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
And Sizzle was a special experience for you? Yeah, it definitely was one, you know, it was one to remember. <laughs> people people were happy to see you, sir, and to hear you mm -hmm. sing and perform at, at yeah, that show, right? Know, you know, Javinci from them time, they always do some soulful music where we reach out to the people. Them. So definitely them did a wait for see me and, you know, me deliver mm -hmm. where, where, where me have in my mind and, you know, me pray about it before me go out there and say, you know, if I have one person cheer, I, you know, yeah. win a soul said we, it's good enough, you know. So where have you been for what, seven years now, Javinci? <laughs> I know you've done some records <laughs> and you've been here and so on. But tell, tell our viewers where you've been, what, what happened to you? Do you think your career was somewhat derailed? Uh, do you? No, I'm not that still in yeah, there. You know, Gaza, Gaza, from Gaza, you know, Gaza prepare for the road straight. You know, you see mm -hmm. what I say? And it is a camp where I have nah, nah no regrets. Yes. Yeah, that's what I say, kind of gear up for the future, future endeavors. You get what I say? So, you know, we still do work, we still tour down the place, Africa, Israel. You know what you mean? Israel, I sing some song where, you know, where, where we do after Gaza. Same. And the response is good, same way. So you never dropped the ball? Never dropped the ball. After Gaza? <laughs> you didn't do real yourself, God? No, man, man. we still do good music, man. And the real, authentic Javinci fans, them can testify for that. You get what yes. I say? Yes, man. The one they never come off from a page and them always saw me. They stay so, with you? Of course, definitely. So, you know, I have to big up all Jalisa too. You know, she's a big fan of mine where from them time there, she been posting me and, you know, same, yeah, so same. we gear up, nice. get up straight. Remember, we do music from the art, you know, you understand what I say? We always do music for uplift people, you know. So, me as a man, like, as, as them say, back in the days, you know, you have to practice where you preach. Yes. You understand what I say? So, I guess you can call it that, you see me? Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Okay, so, what would you say, um, where is the career now, though? Is it on a climb now? A little stagnant? Well, of course, what? definitely, right now, it's team, you know. Mm. Very, very steamy. Is yeah, steamy out there say. or in Jamaica too? All over the world. Right now, we have the biggest song in Israel. Right now, we have a, a, the number one song in Israel. Mm. And it's a song we do for um, Black Spider Records. You understand what I Number one reggae and, song. And yeah, okay. and we go, over, we go over to Israel and, you know, me the respect for get a good vibe from the crowd. But when we reach, it's like people are telling me, say, yo, you have the number one song here. Mm. You understand what I say? So, at the end of the day, I feel good for that because I'm singing in a club where, where nobody in the club, not even the promoter, could talk to me. Because they don't know English in the club where I go. Yes. You understand what I say? And the response was good. So, we so give and, and what about the rest of the world, the Europe and so on? Yeah, man, all over the world, man. You don't know the love Javichi. As I say, you, know, you don't know. We do, we do songs with substance and songs where uplift people. And people always turn to that. So even if dance all I play, up here, so. Me no say when them gone that them care, them a listener, Colonia, Javinci, Bersa, man, and the, the roots are the thing. You get what me? I say so. You don't know. We give thanks to the, the part where Japo to pan. Okay. Yeah. What's happening right now in this moment? Well, yeah. definitely, you know, say Javinci, you know, we are promote and we are try brand. You know, not even try brand. Me are build a brand right now. Okay. Just like how Vibes Car tell you that you step out of the alliance and, you know, farm the Gaza. Every man have a cry, um, creep before them walk, no, sir? Okay. Yeah, so definitely. So you're in the building phase now, you're rebuilding, yeah, resetting man, your own thing. Clear and, movements, man. And straight. building your own brand. And, and so who are the people helping you? Well, right now, I just me, I do my thing. I have a song um, where I just drop with uh, Keena Records. Same. You understand? I say Keena Four Star, you know, that's a song called Afi Make It Out. Don't give up on yourself, have faith in your dreams, and you want to believe it. Uh, anything you want in a life, you say we must feel a fight, because we are for your team. Man, I'll be making it down, yeah. Boy, man, I'll be making it down, yeah. Boy, man, I'll be making it down, yeah. Yeah, man, I'll be making it down, yeah. I'll be making it out. The man is saying it. The man is living it. The man is making it out. And all of you youths out there should let songs like this seep into your soul. <laughs> Love it. Yes, let it play over and over in your head. And it will help you 
Because no matter what, you will. If you're really, really serious, make it out. Yeah. True. Yes, man, definitely. You're the, big, you the biggest voice out of the, the, <laughs> the guys are doing it. Yeah, well, the man can't tell me nothing, Bridging. <laughs> the voice here with you, yeah. the guys are voice here, Bridging. You do it at train from church days, you know. Yeah. You know, so you know, we're never shy away from that in here. You get to me, I said, when I've been at train from, you know, being in August town and seeing a lot going on, you get to me, I said, but at the end of the day, I never make that determine where I did want to go, you understand what yeah. I say? So, you know, it's, we life growing up was rough, but at the same time, we did have a focus, man, you see? Yeah, and to... And good and parents, too, so, you know. Oh, yeah, you and know, that's, that's who sing out to your music, you, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you've seen it all. No man mm -hmm. can't talk to you about now. No, man, the hardship no time, man. and toughness and no badness time, and them things there. You've no seen time. it all. No man can't bring nothing to you. So. Vibes Cartel may be the world's boss, mm -hmm. but you're the world voice, my G. Thing, yes, <laughs> from the world. Gaza. <laughs> Don't you? The True. world voice. Yes, sir. Let's, let's, let's keep that voice singing here, sir. No yeah, wonder you go to you to Israel and yeah, man, man, walk man, around. Yeah, see, music they don't even with, know what you're with, saying. Music with meaning and substance in it, it go a long way. You, know? you get to me, I say, because yes. at the end of the day, when you're a DJ, you have to make sure you say, I keep up by the month. Yes. That's how new dancehall music are run right now. You have to keep up by the month. You understand what I say? But when you're a singer, I just think it's way easier and way different. You understand what I say? If you do the right type of music. You understand what I say? Because right now you have people who go crazy over Bob Marley the same way. Because oh, yeah. of the music where the boss put in. You get what I say? So, yeah, man, Javin, the next Bob Rona, man. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Yes, oh. sir. <laughs> of course, Javinci. Love it, Reggie. Yes, Keep up the good yes, work definitely. and continue to inspire Thanks, and man. motivate those yeah, man, who are it, still man. trapped in the, in the hardship of Jamaica's mm -hmm. ghettos. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's our guest in this segment, and that's our show for this week. Winford Williams, on behalf of all of us, thanking you for joining us. Do join us again next week for more inspiration, more vibes, more excitement on this day.